Om Shanti. Thank you for attending the webinar on the topic Creating Stable Mind in Challenging Times. We had a nice time together. It was a qu quite good evening. And we had quite good discussion as well how to create a stable mind during challenging times. Because when you see the world today, the situation of the world, the everyday challenges what we go through, everyday situations what we go through, and what the world is going through at the moment. When we see that, we all know very well, only the way out is to remain stable. Because we don't know what challenges might come tomorrow. We don't know what challenges might come in the month of June, July, August or September or so. So one thing what we concluded in the webinar was, it's my mind, it's I say it's my mind and I have the control over the mind. I can't say because of something or someone I'm getting upset or my mind is disturbed. When I say my mind, I'm the master and I have the complete control. That's why this is the time really to work on the self. First of all, detoxing the mind is important. Any negativity, any hurt, anything I'm carrying inside, let's detox it. As we detox the body when the body is not well, similarly, now the time is to detox the mind so that we will be able to free feel we will be able to feel light from any past experiences become light take the power from the almighty and feel powerful otherwise if we don't empower our mind then even for a small problem even for a small situation we will end up in getting irritated we will end up in getting disturbed and we all know very well both mind and body are connected anything that is happening in the mind it is having an impact on the body any single negative energy i'm creating inside the mind it is having an impact on the mind as well as it is having an impact on the body it is having an impact on the family also because any thought i'm creating here i'm creating an energy and it radiates that energy that that what I'm creating inside it comes out so I'm doing that in the home so the energy or the vibrations of the home also becomes negative so now the time is to remain stable to remain constant to remain positive also to remain powerful because if I'm stable I will be able to radiate that energy to my family. If, if I am unstable, then I am radiating that fluctuating energy to my family. It's always very much important to understand that anything that is happening outside, it is just an external situation. It's up to me how I am taking that situation into my mind. It's all up to me. It's all up to me how I'm taking inside my mind. Am I taking it very seriously or am I learning from that mistake? Am I ignoring if someone has hurt me, defamed me, insulted me, cooperated me, not cooperated me? Because every individual is going through some challenge. For example, when I'm not in a position to talk to nicely, talk nicely to someone, I, I say what I say. I was not in a good mood to talk to anyone, so I didn't speak to anyone. In a similar way, when we meet different people, they are going through different situations, they are going through different challenges. So, but we expect them to give love, we expect them to give respect, we expect them to, you know, like we know what we expect. So that's why it's very much important to understand that what am I expecting from other people? Respect, love anything anything I'm expecting from someone so am I giving that am I giving that all the time am I transmitting that energy all the time no 
so when that person is in low energy level so he is not able to give something so i am also in a very low energy level so i am also not giving that person is also not giving and everyone thinks they are right for example a manager tells those who are working under me they are not sufficient they are not efficient enough to do the work and those who are working under him they say we work so hard all the time but our manager is not satisfied he is never satisfied manager is also right in his perspective and those who are working under him they are also right in their own perspective so that's why let go jaane dena hai baaton ko life you know in a blink in a blink of an eye everything changes we we might lose this body we might lose someone anything can happen so it's very much important to understand that how much energy i'm wasting on small little things let's finish it sara din hum ye kahe koi baat nahi whenever there is any situation it's okay i learn from it because my aim and objective of this life is to remain stable is to remain energetic also to enjoy the life enjoy anything and everything i am doing i have been to bhuvaneshwar uh, a state a city in odisha state you might all be knowing that so i met a few professionals in a program there and i asked them you work so hard all the time since morning till night you are working are you happy with your lives how many of you think you are happy hardly 5% of the audience were happy not everyone so no matter anything we are doing if we are losing that happiness you know if we are losing our patience for small little things where we are going without that stability without that maturity we will not be able to accomplish anything in life so creating stable mind in challenging times that means i am giving space to my own self every day to detox to detox because if you don't detox the body the body gets sick in a similar way if you don't detox the mind the mind also gets sick so every day at least 20 to 30 minutes of time giving time giving space giving pause to my own self and seeing what's happening here taking power from the almighty removing all the negativity i'm carrying all the toxic thoughts i'm carrying and taking power and feeling empowered feeling energetic is a, is also very much important then only i'll be able to give complete focus to what am i doing then only i'll be able to focus properly on my life my profession my personal life my family life my health my social life everything so let's focus on empowering the mind and how the mind can be empowered by giving time by seeing what's going on and also every day meditation so what is meditation meditation means creating positive and powerful thoughts taking power from the almighty creating positive and powerful thoughts itself is called as meditation because that's my time that's my space if we are running and running and running and running and running what for what for we are running right so that's why let's make let's practice this for a few days any external situation that is happening it doesn't have an impact on my internal stage because internal stage is not directly proportionate to the external situation that is happening it's indirectly proportionate it's indirectly connected they are not at all directly connected so it's so these were these were all the like uh, thoughts we shared um, briefly because there was some network uh, problem as well in the call but i think we were able to share quite a few thoughts and it's a meditation as well if you would like to uh, do any course online or through any uh, online platform um, you are most welcome to do you can contact us and uh, let us know enjoy your lives also have a very stable mind all the time no matter what the external situation is all about so greetings of love and peace from mount abu also lots of blessings to you and also the family stay home stay safe thank you om shanti